Okay, we want to take a look at what we should have learned from the electrostatics if we would have been able to finish it. Um, a couple of things. Number one, uh, that we should have learned that we were talking about charges. Okay, so one of the things we're looking at, if we, had, um, if we had one object here and another object here, and let's say that this one here had three and three, and we had equal electrons, both of those surfaces would have been considered to be neutral. Now, if we bring something in here that had a charge, and we bring it near them, okay, that would induce a charge. So let's, let's make one of these a positive charge. Okay, now... Um, sorry, um, so this is a positive charge. So what it's going to do is it's going to bring all the negatives close to the surface, and we learned that. Now we're going to we're going to summarize a little bit. Of things. Number one, charge can't be created or destroyed. So the number of electrons that you have stays the same. The only thing it does is transfer from one location to another. Now. A couple of things here. We're going to take a look at something called Coulomb's Law, and we're going to introduce it just a little bit, okay? And it's something that we would have learned is something about the force, similar to the force of gravity, is equal to some constant K times the quantity of charge times the quantity of charge over top of the distance squared. So what does that mean? Well, let's, let's give it some numbers here. So if this charge here, Q1, is a quantity 5, and this one here is a charge 2, and its quantity is 5, the farther they go apart, the weaker the force. The closer they come together, the greater the force. That's our general rules right now. And that's really and truthfully what I need you to understand and what I need you to know. We're not going to do any calculations with it. We're just going to focus on the fact that as charges get closer together, the force of attraction gets bigger. As the charges get farther apart, the forces get weaker. Okay? So let's take a look. Number one, we need to learn this, that um, a charge of an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th and we're going to give it a new unit we're going to call it C and C stands for Coulomb and that's the charge of one electron and one electron only so sometimes we'll write it this way oops didn't mean to do that we'll put down that an electron has that specific charge now that's going to get us up and ready for the next part.